Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Kalish, and I'm on the Android systems team. Today, I'll be giving a talk about our uh, evaluation of the MGLIU patch sets in Android. Uh, so just a short background for uh, anyone who might not be familiar. MGLIU is basically a rework of the kernel pager claim. And uh, basically what it does is extends on the idea of active inactive list to multiple tiers instead of just the two. So uh, instead of two, we have uh, multiple uh, generations. And uh, this uh, allows us to have a bit of a finer granularity control in the, in the page reclaim. And there are also some optimizations made to the scanning. Uh, instead of uh, using the, the R map, but the, we walk a list of MM structs. But uh, there are some good LWN articles about this. And in the interest of time, I, I will not go into this uh, further. So, uh, yeah, on Android, uh, we care a lot about uh, uh, metrics like uh, app start time uh, and uh, a number of low memory kills, uh, things that affect, uh, uh, that are, have user visible uh, effect. And so the test that we did is a, an app cycle test. We cycle uh, uh, about 30 apps where, and we, perform some minimal uh, user journeys. For instance, like we open Chrome, launch a few tabs. We open the camera app, uh, take uh, take some photos, and then we switch to the next app. And the t test is uh, conducted in a pseudo random order. So we, it's a comparable uh, A-B testing. And uh, we run this test for about uh, 200 iterations. The testing device used here is uh, the Pixel 6 Pro with uh, 12 gigabytes RAM and in this configuration, uh, three gigabytes of uh, ZRAM. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we have some uh, very interesting uh, results and the uh, first uh, metric we will look at is uh, app launch time. So initially with uh, the MGLIU, we we didn't see the, the improvement in app launch time, but after we made some fixes and some workarounds uh, to the patch set, uh, we did see about 6.6% uh, reduction in the overall app launch time during these uh, tests. And uh, also the here we are uh, comparing the ratio of hot starts. So there are three types of uh, uh, app, uh, app uh, start types in Android, hot, warm and cold and it's uh, preferable to have hot and warm starts opposed to uh, cold starts so comparing the ratios of hot starts to uh, cold starts we see an improvement from 3.3 to about 3.8 uh, hot to warm is uh, improved from about 16.8 to 19.8 and uh, warm to cold is uh, is basically about the same uh, yeah, uh, in addition to having more uh, hot starts, we also saw that uh, uh, the latencies improved in the hot and, and warm starts. So hot starts, uh, there was a reduction of about 3% in the, the average app launch latency. And for warm starts, about 3.8%. Cold starts also saw uh, a bit of improvement, but this is probably within the, the margin of error. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so next metric uh, that's uh, important for us is uh, the number of kills. Uh, we don't want to be too aggressive uh, with uh, killing uh, apps because that obviously affects the user experience. And in here, there, there are three types of kills that can happen. The first is uh, activity manager killing apps. Uh, with MGLIU, we see uh, this actually increased about uh, 10%. Uh, reason f why we think this happens is because MGLIU is able to keep uh, more apps, more cached apps around, and this leads to the activity manager uh, having to trim those cached apps because there's a threshold on the on the number of uh, cached apps you can have. Uh, 
Yeah, so this is uh, why there is this increase in, in the number of AMS kills. Uh, this uh, LMKD kills are decreased about 83%, but this number is a little bit misleading because I'll explain why. Uh, because one of the fixes we made to the MGLIU is we use uh, ohm kills as, uh, as a way to prevent hot cold uh, generation inversion. Uh, which can happen when swap is, is full or swap is constrained. And this is a quite common situation in Android. Android uh, makes, uh, yeah, very, uh, utilizes the swap heavily. So uh, this can happen a lot in Android. And the way we prevent this is by limiting the number of anonymous generations when uh, it passes a certain threshold. Uh, in this test, when it, uh, we increase the number, the total number of generations to eight and once uh, the non-generations pass six, we start uh, doing these um kills to prevent this uh, this hot cold inversion. So that's why we see uh, about greater than 800 uh, um kills in MGLIU and uh, no um kills in baseline. So that compensates for this uh, this drop in LMKD kills. So yeah, important to look at the overall number of kills where uh, MGLIU. Uh, does have about 8% less total kills. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will, there is a long-term plan we for removing these um kills, but I'll talk about it at the end if we have time. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, for working sets uh, refaults, we see that uh, MGLIU also has significantly better results. Anonymous uh, pages saw a decrease in the refaults, about 65%. And for file pages, we see about 81% uh, reduction in the in the working set refaults, which uh, which uh, shows that uh, MGLRU uh, is making uh, much better decisions about which pages to reclaim than the than the baseline. Uh, Uh, the other metric uh, we looked at is the reclaim CPU usage and efficiency. And here, this is a yeah, this is quite significant number in terms of uh, power management, because we saw uh, K swap the CPU usage uh, decreased by about uh, 50 54 percent with MGL LRU enabled, and also uh, the reclaim efficiency is improved. So. Uh, KSwap D uh, improved from about 32% to 57% in efficiency. Direct reclaim, there was slight regression. We'll talk about this later. This is an interesting number. And for anonymous, uh, anonymous reclaim efficiency improved from about 16% to 40%, and file reclaim efficiency from 55 to 69%. So those are all good, except for this uh, direct reclaim. Uh, yeah, so this direct reclaim uh, latency was uh, an issue for the MGLIU that we found. So even though MGLIU has a lot less direct reclaims than the baseline, 81% less in, in these tests, it does uh, it still has uh, uh, more stalls in the direct reclaim. Here it has about 94% uh, 90, increased in the in the stall times, in direct reclaim stall times. And looking at uh, looking closer at these uh, direct reclaims, we can see why this happens exactly. So the MGLIU has a lot less uh, direct reclaims for uh, low latencies, low mid latencies, so less than five milliseconds and from five to 50 milliseconds. But it does have a lot a lot more uh, longer direct reclaims. So from 50 to 500 milliseconds and greater than 500 milliseconds, this uh, MGLIU uh, spends a lot of time in direct reclaim. And that's why these uh, stall time suffers that much. Uh, yep. So uh, one experiment we did to uh, try to mitigate this is uh, increasing the swap size. 
because we know that uh, MGLIU uh, has uh, uh, is a has a regression when the swap is constrained, which is why we have this walk around with the um kills. So here, uh, in this experiment, we increase the swap size from three gigabyte to six gigabyte ZRAM, and we do see some uh, improvements in the launch time about uh, one point five about 1% uh, more uh, in, than in, with the three gigabyte configuration. The direct reclaim efficiency also improved a bit. Uh, and, uh, but uh, yeah, they're, they're about the same number of uh, direct reclaim hits. And we do see uh, slight uh, improvements to this uh, stall time regression in direct reclaim. So from 94% uh, percent to 50, 52%. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, increasing the swap size from three gigabytes to six gigabytes. Yeah, one other comparison we did to uh, between MGLIU and the baseline is with uh, with no swap device configured. So here uh, we do see that MGLIU has uh, does uh, a lot better than the baseline. If you look at this number here, we see almost a 50% reduction in the app launch time with, with no swap. And this is mostly due to the, the baseline is, is really trashing hard with no swap because it hits, a, MGLIU has about 99% less direct reclaim hits than the baseline with, in this case. So it's a lot better the, at uh, preventing uh, trashing in this type of scenario, which is, not uncommon in Android for swap to be full. So yeah, it's interesting to see this, uh, these results. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, there are lots of other uh, metrics that improved as well, but I won't go over them here. We, uh, so here I, I'm trying to show is the, over the duration of the test, I'm showing you the number of file generations and the number of anonymous generations. So here I had in increased the number of generations, total generations to 32, in order to delay the hot cold uh, generation inversion. That's ha that can happen when uh, when the swap is full. So we we see even with 32 generations. Uh, during these tests, uh, there is still this hot cold inversion because the the anonymous generations can uh, uh, get to this max number of generations, and when that happens, the generation counters wrap around, and this uh, causes this uh, type of uh, hot cold page inversion. So this uh, this did not work. This did not help us to uh, to see better results. Uh, so what we did instead is, as I explained earlier, is we limit the number. Here we're using eight max generations, and we limit the number. We start kill. We start um killing apps when the number of anonymous generations uh, reach above uh, uh, six, reach six. So, and from this graph we can see that uh, it's uh, it it's effective at preventing this type of uh, a uh, hot cold inversion because the non generations never get to eight or the max number of generations. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, all we have, all the results we have to present. And now we'll take any questions or uh, open for discussions. So yeah, well, yeah. One, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so, yeah. so one thing I wanted to discuss is how we can improve these direct reclaim latencies. Okay, so we, I, I, I do have a question. Uh, so one thing, the scenario you were generating, how uh, realistic that mm -hmm. is, uh, like 30 apps cycling be uh, between them, What's the, I'm just wondering, uh, is it that important uh, with respect to users' experience? 
Right. Uh, it's probably not uh, not that uh, common in the real world, but we do plan to run some experiments on our uh, on our fleet of devices to see what mm -hmm. the this is kind of like a edge case or worst case scenario when we have these many apps that we are switching between. So you can keep the swap full. Uh, you can keep the swap constraint for a long period of time. But yeah, in 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 reality. It's probably not uh, not very likely, but we we do plan to run some uh, A/B experiments on our uh, dog food devices to see what the results look like. Thank you. All right, thank you. So we're gonna move on to the next speaker. Oh. Well.